Right, just let me mute this. <clears throat> this is the wonderful, hang on, mute it that way. This is the wonderful world of SDR radio that you can pick up for as little as $30. <laughs> Right, if you're into kind of or got any interest in radio hammery, um, you can pick up um, little what they call SDRs that plug into your PC and then run on freeware. Uh, various bits of software that I'll show you. Um, simple antenna, um, again, costing like £15 for a little telescopic job, uh, and you're away. Um, and you can jump on all sorts. I'm just going to show you a bit of all sorts. At the moment, we're on the uh, Airban Voice. That you can see at the bottom. Um, it's not very busy today, but uh, we'll just jump on some transmissions that we see. Uh, there's one there, as indicated by the spike. Of course, I'll stop talking now. All right, there's another one. Let's try and jump on that. Five decimal five three zero. We'll jump on this signal over here because it seemed a bit louder, but they'll run away as well. Um, you can kind of set up a, a little scanning thing which will scan the whole range of air band as soon as it picks something up or something spikes, it'll stop on it. So you don't have to manually do it. Oh, they've changed frequency. Hang on. Let's jump on that channel. Of course, pilots like to speak quickly, and uh, trying to cue your ears into it is a bit of a problem for some people. But you do get used to it. It's better with a pair of headphones on. These ones just don't shut up. Over here. Three six zero. And heading three thirty. Clear uh, direct lower to Western 19. You get the idea. Speed of Manchester 118580. 35 Cheers, bye-bye. 35 Bravo, just doing an update from Honolulu. Oh, navigation Honolulu. Let's go. 32 Bravo. I'm waiting on, in anticipation. Um, just a few other stuff that this can do um, if you want to get really silly you can zoom in um, you're getting what's called a waterfall underneath um, which will give you a more detailed view of the, the width of the bandwidth that you're looking at so you can actually grab it and make it to the right size for what you're listening to um, there's also Squelch options, there's a million, <laughs> millions of options to be perfectly honest. Let's just zoom out so we can see a bit A bit more of the channel, what's going on. Um, right heading 155, only part 215. Okay. Okay. So yeah, as, as along the bottom, you can see. Um, they're all talking now. Along the bottom, you can see a blue line that says uh, "band voice." So I know I can kind of go anywhere within there and pick up various conversations from different aircraft. There's a huge one there. I just sent your Slightly off there. Somebody booming in. And somebody else there. And the booming. Please visit Dallas 179. LM 171, Cannon 134, that's the 2608. 1460, one zero one zero one 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 in fact, it's said now for level 200, level to sit. No, I'm on fixed touch, Juliet. They're all jumping on. They're all, anyway, right. So you've got a band voice at the bottom before we just get just carried away listening to um, stuff you probably don't understand. 
and most people wouldn't. Why would you? You don't all fly planes. And the pilots among you, you. That's one nine five five. What do you mean? Don't understand. understand the whiskey. So you got airband voice. I'll just, I'll just mute it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be here all day. Um, so you got airband voice on the bottom. Um, in fact, we can just press these up here. Um, V O R I L S. There's loads. There's <clears throat> basically you can go um, all the way up here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's uh, military airband voice. You can listen into those guys. All the weather stations. You can even tune into satellites if you want. Uh, into the ham bands. If you want to pick up the ham radio guys, um, and onwards into strange and weirdful, wonderful stuff, um, and it'll go all the way down, so you're kind of in the low stuff. Oops, hang on, just get me down here. Uh, even kind of down into kind of FM stuff. Oh, it's crashed. That's that's a good a good thing, isn't it? probably because that's come on and it doesn't like that close thank you so swiftly moving on <clears throat> other things you can do and this won't work because i'll have to change the aerial i'm not changing the aerial um if i hit start on here with the ils stuff uh, we can actually jump on the aircraft transponders and track them again i've got the wrong size aerial but more on that in a second um well we are picking a few up um so what this will do is it'll pick up all the aircraft that it's tracking as you can see it's picking up a few now um normally you'd, you'd probably have about 20 uh anywhere out to the outside edge of this circle for me which is uh two four six eight ten 120 miles away um i am in a bit of a dip if i go on a hill i'll get an awful lot more um but what you'll get on here is um, usually a picture of the aircraft which you can click on and go even more in depth that's the actual aircraft um it'll give you the route where it's coming from so in the case of this one here it's coming from uh um, Charles Le Gaulle in Paris, France, and it's off to Calgary in Canada. Um, it'll pick up light aircraft, helicopters, military stuff. Um, and yeah, quite interesting. Little blue dot is where I am, uh, and I can literally um, see the aircraft as they come over the top. Not that I'm into aircraft spotting you mine. I'm, I'm more into the radio stuff as it was a, a, a past job of mine back in the grey distant times. Um, so I like to keep my hand in and have a look at the new technology. And this stuff is is kind of in the past to have this kind of frequency set up. You're talking thousands of pounds and now it's something the size of a deck of playing cards and it just plugs in via usb and you're away um aerial wise you can well you, you can go silly yeah you can kind of make your own with a piece of wire if you want and they do work quite well as long as you want um but a handy one to have is the dipole um calculator so you just put in the frequency that you're listening to um say for the aircraft there it's 1090 and it'll tell you exactly how long to adjust your adjustable antenna to for the best results and um, so you don't you don't even need to think um just type numbers as long as you can type numbers in you're good you're good uh, again i'm on um an antenna that's a meter long for for the voice stuff um and this thing should be about 15 centimeters long so uh, the aerial is completely uh, the wrong size for this frequency that we're looking at but we can still get stuff still quite happy um other stuff you can have dab radio grab um weather satellite images as the satellite goes over the top um there's loads loads and loads of stuff uh, when you get into the ham radio stuff you can pick guys up all over europe america 
and the serious guys you can pick up all over the world same with radio stations you'll you'll start getting the low frequency stuff bouncing around and you can pick up anything from anywhere um gets quite interesting li listening to the local news in malaysia but hey home um yeah if you're into that kind of stuff well worth a play i'll just fire up um sdr again if i can if i can i think it tripped out when it saw the um oculus headset so yeah we're back on here there you go cb radio if you want to tune into that stuff let me just get back up to the air voice and we'll finish off with a few uh nattering pilots if we can find any uh under 34 was where they were all hiding out before he says they're not hiding out there anymore why not ah because we're on the wrong thing hang on try that Logan 8-3, Romeo Juliet. Oh, it's Logan. Adios. 